so the insecticide act was enacted in 1968 and its implementation started in 1971 with the framing of the insecticide rules so the insecticide act 1968 is mainly started for the safety oriented legislation which regulates imports manufacture storage transport sale distribution and use of insecticides with a view to prevent risk to human beings and animals the various regulatory provisions made in the act include compulsory registration compulsory licensing inspection jol and analysis of stocks suspension and cancellation of licenses the enforcement of the insecticide act is the joint responsibility of the central and state government the duties and responsibilities of both the government have been demarcated under the act the two statutory bodies namely the central insecticide board and registration committee have been constituted under the act then let us move what is central insecticide boards so the central insecticide insecticide board is headed by the director general of health services this government of india and comprises 28 other members representing various disciplines in the field of agriculture in which plant protections health ecology forestry transports industry etc of the central government state government and research organizations so the functions of the board include to advise the central government on the manufacture of insecticides under the industries development regulation act 1951 to specify the users or classification of insecticides on the basis of their toxicity and their suitability for aerial application to advise on tolerance limits for insecticide residues establishment of minimum intervals between the application of insecticides and harvest in respect of various commodities to specify the shelf life of insecticides and to suggest colorization the board consists of six expert panels to finalize the approved uses of different groups of insecticides panel on organophosphate insecticide panel on carbamate insecticide panel on chlorinated hydrocarbon insecticide panel on fungicides panel on herbicides and plant growth regulators and panel on fumigants and rodenticides this panel finalizes their recommendations which have been accepted by the board and adopted by the registration committee these panels have been accepted as standing advisory committees for finalizing the new uses of insecticides based on published documents by the agricultural universities icar institutions and manufacturers registration committee the central government has constituted a registration committee comprising deputy director general icr as the chairman and five other members and the functions of the committee included to register insecticides after scrutinizing their formula and verify their efficacy and safety to human beings and animals to specify the precautions to be taken against poisoning to carry out other incidental and consequential matters inclusion in the schedule the requirements for inclusion in the schedule are chemical identity and physiochemical properties of the insecticide along with technical bulletin from the principal manufacturer bioefficacy data of the product the registration status of the product the status of the insecticide as per pesticide manual or pesticide index information on mammalian toxicity registration of insecticides every person who intends to import or manufacture an insecticide has to obtain registration certificate from the registration committee a separate registration certificate is required for each type of insecticides the committee also approves the label and leaflet containing information three types of registrations are available under the act the first one is provisional registrations when the product is introduced for the first time in the country for 2 years for data generation commercialization is not allowed under this registration regular or full registration in this registration the uh, full registration is granted when complete data has been generated to the satisfaction of the committee and again the last one is repeat registration is given for already registered which was uh, regular registration product for a subsequent applicant repeat registration is also full registration but data requirement for this is very less 
other important authorities are licensing officers which are appointed by state government inspectors which are appointed by central and state government both and analysts which are also appointed by central and state government insecticides residues and waiting periods only a small amount of pesticides less than 1% applied to a crop reaches the target pest and the remaining enters different components of the environment to contaminate soil water air food feed forage and other commodities the major source of human exposure to pesticides is food the monitoring surveys in different part of india have revealed the widespread contamination of all types of food products including cereals pulses vegetables fruits animal products vegetables oils milk and milk products spices and honey with pesticide residues in all these commodities the residues must be below mrl which is stand for maximum residue limits and adi which is acceptable daily intake due to the frequent use of pesticides on the on these commodities the residues were above the legal maximum residue limits that is mrl and also the dietary intake of this pesticide exceeded the acceptable daily intake which is adi to minimize these levels a minimum waiting period must be observed between the time of pesticide application and harvest of the commodities so that the toxicants are metabolized into non toxic or less toxic compounds role of pesticides in pest management when an increasing sect population approaches economic threshold level insecticides are the only means of preventing economic damage insecticides are available in convenient and ready to use packages a range of insecticides are available depending upon crop sect and nature of damage and easy to applied and large area can be covered even if complex of several pests occurs combination of two compatible insecticides will control the pest complex the use of insecticides is compatible with other component of integrated pest management suitable insecticides resistance management which is irm strategies can be developed as a component of the integrated pest management application technology can be improved to obtain better targeting and uniformity of deposits within the target canopy thank you